were you tonight? I'll ask, I'll tell the Lord just like do, uh, just, I mean, Jacob told God, he said, tonight I will not let you go. Tonight is the last prayer mountain of the year. If I were you, I would hold on to God's skirts tonight. I said, Lord, I won't let you go until that one that is remaining, until it is said to wave, up, wave your hands and begin to worship the Lord as the choir will come forward as we take a worship song tonight. We lift your name higher. Lord, we lift your name
Gloria. For us to see December, go on and thank him. Many wish to see December, but they are not alive today. Let's go on and praise him. Go on and thank him. He is the Alpha and Omega, the Lily of the Valley, the Rose of Sharon, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Let's appreciate him for all the prayer mountains. Since January till now, the Lord has been with us. Let's thank him for salvation. Let's thank you for deliverance, healing. Let's thank you for the testimonies. Let's glorify the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. The Lily of the Valley, the Rose of Sharon, the King of Glory. The Alpha. The Unchangeable Changer. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to your name. You are worthy of our praise. Brethren, go on and worship him for your life. Worship him for your family. Worship him for Nigeria. Worship him for his mercies. Go on and praise him. You are now in the grave today. You are now in the mortuary. Go on and thank him. You are now in the hospital. Thank you for your husband. Thank you for your wife. Go on and praise him for your children. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You travel out. You travel in. The Lord has been with you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to your name. You are worthy of our praise. Lift up your voice. Say, Father, these three days, I need a good tidings. Pray that prayer. Go on and pray. Good tidings. You will hear good news. This month. Tell God I will hear good news this month. The news of promotion. The news of healing. The news of deliverance. Lord, I will hear good news. Go on and pray. Lord, I will hear good news.
In Jesus' name we pray. Pray this prayer again. Say, Father, every bad news waiting for me in this month, I turn it to good news. In the name of Jesus. I pray that prayer. Lord, every bad news waiting for me. I turn it to good news. I turn it to good news. Pray. Pray. Talk to God. Lord, every bad news turn to good news this month. In Jesus' name we pray. I wanted to choose a partner because these three days, every miracle you have been expecting since January, the Lord will release it to you this evening. These three days, the miracle shall be released to you. I say choose a partner two and two. You are going to pray, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the desires of the wicked one shall not prosper in your life this month. I pray for somebody. The wish of the enemy shall not prosper in your life. Shall not prosper in your family. The wish of the enemy. The desires of the enemy shall not prosper over my life this month. Please pray. Pray. The desires of the enemy shall not prosper over your family. The desires of the enemy shall not prosper over your marriage. Pray. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Go and hold the second person. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, arise in the life of your son. Arise in the life of your daughter. Because you are God, I call it those things have been not as though they were. Every closed door in your life, open by fire. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Pray. 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 Make sure you are praying. In Jesus' name we pray. Go and hold a third person. Say, Father, I command in your life this December. Every yoke of disappointment in your life. Break by fire. I have prayed that prayer. Every yoke of disappointment in your life. Make sure you are praying. Pray for somebody. If two shall agree concerning anything. 
pray. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Go and hold the fourth person and say, Father, arise in your power. Every strong man in charge of promise and fail in your life. Wherever they are, die by fire. Oh, you pray. Every strong man in charge of promise and fail. This month, die. Although that promise you, every strong man holding their, holding them from fulfilling their promise, command the strong man to die. Pray. Pray. strong man in charge of promise and fair die die in Jesus then we are praying go and hold a feet and say father every power every evil will Diverting your blessings. Seize by fire. Oh, I pray that prayer. to hold the seat and say father I command every garment of shame and reproach that followed you to December catch fire or your prayer every garment of rejection every garment of shame and reproach Pray. Pray. Every garment of rejection. Catch fire. 
Every garment of stagnation, catch fire. Every garment of stagnation. Pray. Talk to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, arise. Whatever the enemy has stolen since in January, these three days, let there be sevenfold restoration. Why oh, yeah, lift up your hands and pray? Let there be restoration. restoration please pray Lord, restore. Lord, restore your glory. Daddy, restore your favor. Daddy, restore what the enemy has stolen. Father, restore. Daddy, restore. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, let's go on our knees and say, Father, you're a great rewarder. I have served you with all my heart since January till now. Arise in my life. Every sin that will hinder my miracle this month, wash me with the blood of Jesus. Let's pray that prayer. Lord, every sin, every anger, every bitterness, every morality, everything that the enemy will use to divert my miracles, every sin God will see and not to visit us, Let's ask him for mercy. Lord, have mercy. Every bitterness, every malice, every offense, unforgiveness, misuse of our tongue, whatever God will see, and you say, no, you are not qualified for good tidings. This month, Father, have mercy. Every record the enemy has opened for us, Daddy, have mercy. Daddy, please have mercy. Remember the blood of Jesus? Holy Spirit. Daddy, please have mercy. You are a great rewarder. Daddy, have mercy. Daddy, please have mercy. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Ancient of days, have mercy. Let the book of remembrance open. Daddy, have mercy. All my sisters, trusting you for marital breakthrough. Papa, have mercy. 
Let this month be a month of celebration. Let this month be a month of restoration. Let this month be a month of remembrance. Daddy, please have mercy. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Daddy, have mercy. This month will not end with sorrow. December will not end with disappointment. My Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Daddy, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Daddy, have mercy. Let the heavens open. Let there be showers of blessings. In Jesus' name we are praying. Quietly rise up and lift up your hands. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. Lifted up, you are lifted up, Daddy. You are lifted up, Shadai. You are lifted up, Great Provider. You are lifted up. Our healer, you are lifted up. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. You are lifted up. You are lifted up. Daddy, you are lifted up. You are lifted up. Almighty God, ancient of days, the lily of the valley, the merciful high priest, the rock of ages, the king of glory, the one that took us from January to December, that we bow for you, we thank you. You did not allow January to see our end. You did not allow February to see our end. You did not allow March to see our end. You did not allow April to see our end. You did not allow May to see our end. You did not allow June to see our end. You did not allow July to see our end. You did not allow all God to see our end. You never allow September to see our end. You never allow October to see our end. You never allow November to see our end. Oh God, September will not see our end. December will not see our end. In the name of Jesus. You are seen the first day of December. You will see the first day in January. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. December will not see your end. 
December will not see your husband say. December will not see your parents say. December will not see your children say. December will not see your wife say. In the name of Jesus. Father, you are God that reward. Let the heavens open. Let there be showers of blessings. Let there be good tidings. In the name of Jesus. Let there be overflowing breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And all your children have served you in truth and in spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will not end December in sorrow. All your destiny happens wherever they are. I command from today, they will remember you for good. Every storm Every storm blowing in your home, blowing in your marriage, storm of poverty, storm of affliction, storm, every contrary storm, I command you to cease in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, seven days from today, you will hear good news. I decree your life in the name of Jesus. All over the world, you'll be remembered for good. If you believe that, jump up and shout a big hallelujah. I say, jump up and shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Go and give seven people high five. Tell them you will clap for my testimony this month. You will surely clap for my testimony. Tell them with joy. Tell them with high expectations. You will clap for my testimony. In Jesus' name we have worship. Your expectations shall not be cut off. In the name of Jesus. That is his a sister here last month you had a miscarriage and you are crying tonight the Lord said wipe away your tears he has given you twins one boy and one girl in the name of Jesus you will never experience miscarriage again say amen with fire God has blessed 15 people here with powerful cars in our midst. We are going to dedicate your car in the name of Jesus. If you are among the 15, jump up and shout hallelujah. Amen and amen. I am number one. I don't know who is number two. I say I am number one. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see somebody running to the Western Union in three days' time to go and collect your dollars in the name of Jesus. Shout a big hallelujah. There is somebody in our midst here, your relation, somebody that is related to you, and your brother, had a, a case. He was detained, prison in America, in abroad. As you are praying now, the Almighty God released the angel that went to solicit on his behalf. And they have released him in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. The Lord bless you. The God that brought you to December will not leave you empty-handed. Second Kings 7. Second Kings chapter 7. Let's 
read from verse 1. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow about this time. Praise the Lord. I am prophesying to somebody, By this time tomorrow you will stand here to testify of the goodness of God. Because the God that I brought you in to the twelfth month is going to visit you in the name of Jesus. Can we read together one to go? He said, Then Elijah said, Everybody read. Hear ye the word of the Lord, thus hear the Lord. Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. We are in victory house. When men are saying there is austerity measure, devaluation of Naira, your own Naira will continue to increase. In the name of Jesus, whatever that enters your hand shall never be devalued again. He said, then the Lord, read, continue reading, then on whose hand the king leaned and sat the man of God and said, behold, if the Lord will make a window in heaven, my this thing be, and he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with the eyes, but shall not eat thereof. Three. And there were four leprous men at the end at the gate, entry words. And they said to one another, Why sit we here until? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. You will not die in Jesus' name. And if we sit here, we die also. Now therefore, come, let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill which verse 5 everybody and they arose in the twilight to go to the camp of Syria and when they come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria behold there was no man there for the Lord had made the host of Syrians to hear the noise of chariots noise of horses even the noise of great hosts, and they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the king of Hittite, the king of the Egyptians, to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled. <laughs> verse 8. And when the leopards came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried their silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried them also I went and hid it. Verse 9, then said one to another, we do, we do this day is the day of good and we hold for we tarry till morning some mischief will come upon us that we may go and tell praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. I will just summarize this chapter then we pray. Because I believe you have had a lot of messages on this altar. My prayer for you in Jesus name 
you will not plant another person will harvest. All you have planted this year, your generation will not reap. Will not finish reaping it. Bible said they that wait upon the Lord, the Lord renew their strength. They shall mount up like the eagle wings. They will run, they will, they will not faint. I pray for you, your blessing shall not be diverted in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. One of the things the Lord ministered to me while I was going through this chapter. Good tidings simple means good news. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I prophesy to somebody seven days from today you'll hear good news. In the name of Jesus. There are bad news and there are good news. Every bad news waiting for you, I turn it to good news. This month, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we release good news in your marriage. We release good news in your business. We release good news in the place of work. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I'm speaking now, God has given somebody double promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus. God in heaven is a great rewarder. And I tell you in Jesus' name, this year will not end without a testimony in your life. The type of news that will come to you this year is the news from now to the day you will leave this world. That news will never turn to bad news. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are things I want us to write down before we pray. Number one, if you go through the scripture, the man of God prophesied because there was farmer in the land and said, by this time tomorrow, the price of food will come down. There will be a surplus of food. Praise the Lord. And the king, who doesn't know the will of God, the purpose of God, stood and said, it can never happen. Praise the Lord. So many of us must have been hearing what, been, what the things going on in our economy, the valuation of Naira, Austerity, measure, whatever, whatever. Listen, beloved, the things you hear can either make you or mar you. And as a child of God, you must come to the realm that the things you hear does not move you. Because the Bible says we live by faith and not by sight. And the just shall live by faith. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 14, chapter 8, 14 says, As many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Whatever things you are hearing or you're experiencing now has already happened in the Old Testament. So it's not a new thing. But the Word of God says, When men are saying there's a casting down, God is saying there's a lifting. I prophesy to every one of you in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is happening to the economy of Nigeria will not affect us. Say amen with fire. Number one, the king doubted the word of prophecy from the servant of God. Doubt and unbelief. And as a result of doubt and unbelief, he died premature dead. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, this year will not end your story. If you look at seven, 
Second King chapter 7, 19 and 20. Can we have it, please? That thing the king said, that you will see it, but you will never partake of it. Now look at what happened. And that the Lord answered the man of God and said, Now behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, might such a thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. Verse 20. And so it fell out unto him. I pray for you, negative prophecy shall never prosper in your life. And so it fell out unto him. Why? He doubted. And that's the problem of so many of us here. For the people trod upon him in the gate. And he did what? You will not die because of unbelief. I will not die because of unbelief. Praise the Lord. John chapter 4 verse 24. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. It is when you key into the realm of the spirit, you will know what the Lord is saying concerning the time we are living. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him and he shall eat the fruit of his labor. I prophesy to you, you will not plant another person with harvest. The king doubted the word of God from the mouth of the prophets. He doubted. He disbelieved. Probably he has become so familiar with the man of God. And that's the problem why so many people are doubting the word of God in the hearts of God. You became so familiar that when your pastor tells you something, you don't have faith to believe it. You don't have faith to believe it. I don't know when or when I don't know what, some of us, there was a time when Mom Yoiso and Dad Yoiso, they were here in the other place. They organized a single program, a single vigil. All the single came, put the first, the second, and the last floor, you know, filled to capacity. And prayer was going on. It was a Friday night. Why prayer was going on? There was a sis, there was a lady. She was not born again. It was my Marissa that told me the testimony. As she was just passing through 23 Road, she heard, you know, the prayers going on. She came in. According to her, no Bible, no, just walked in. And what I heard, that doctor told her to call for an operation of fibroid Monday. Monday morning. So casually, she just, she just entered, you know, the program. And immediately she came, there was a word of knowledge that came. According to her, when that word of knowledge came, all of a sudden she discovered that something, you know, was dripping from her body. So she asked an usher to take her to the toilet and when she got there, something, you know, thick blood, like a woman that had a miscarriage, was coming out from her body. She was there, and that thing was just coming, was just coming, and all of a sudden, the thing ceased. She cleaned up, came out, joined the meeting. To God be the glory, Saturday morning, she went to her doctor that she could not understand. The stomach that was heavy, that was stiff, all of a sudden became flat. And the doctor asked her, said, who operated you without tearing your stomach? I prophesy to you, 
in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Every sickness that followed you to December, that sickness I curse you in the name of Jesus. It was the testimony, it was what happened to her that brought her to Christ. She gave her life to Christ. But there are so many of us that have spent years in the house of God with one problem. When it came to a point you don't hear the voice of God, it's a problem. When a child of God, you see, God has a time. If you look at John chapter 5, the Bible talks about an impotent folk that have been at a place for 38 years. The sickness of that man was older than Jesus. Praise the Lord. He was there. And when Jesus Christ came, as Jesus Christ is going to visit you before the end of this month, Jesus Christ asked him, would I be made a whole? He said, I have nobody. Praise the Lord. I have nobody to take me to the pool. When the water is being troubled, for the father that had nobody, beloved, there is a time the angel of the Lord will trouble the water. And these three days, angels of God are here to pay us a visit. So no matter what you are hearing, no matter what is going on in your mind, in your heart, believe that God is. Believe that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see, when you hear from God, fear will disappear from you. When you hear from God, unbelief will disappear from you. I decree, three days from today, you will hear the voice of God. In the name of Jesus. Bible says, Mark chapter 11, 23, 20, 22, 23. Mark 11. 22 says, Jesus answering, said unto them, have faith in God. Tell you, I never have faith in God. For verily I said unto you, that whosoever shall say to what? Whosoever shall say, we speak a lot, we say something, Sometimes what we say does not correspond with what we have in our mind, in our heart. Because Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So sometimes our mouth may be saying something different and our heart may also be saying something different. He said, whatever you say, whosoever that shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not do what doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he shall say shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever praise the Lord. So doubt sent the king to premature death because he doubted the word of God. I pray for you every spirit of doubt be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Number two, as I said, familiarity. When you become familiar with your pastor, with the man of God, you don't have regard for the word of God from his mouth. And it's very, very dangerous. We become too familiar with men of God. You don't even have respect for them. So if you don't have respect for them, how can the word they speak bring blessings? The king said, it can never be done. It's okay. You have said it with your mouth. You will see it, but you will not partake of it. 
I pray for every one of us, including myself. Every seed of doubt be uprooted in Jesus' name. Number three, God is not a respecter of any man. Praise the Lord. God is not a respecter of any man. Beloved, how come four lepers, four lepers? In Israel, leprosy is an abomination. When somebody has been, you know, has been affected with leprosy, he doesn't live among men. Sometimes they will cast the person out in the wilderness, just like what happened to King Uzziah, who went to go, who went to the you know, Holy of Holies to go and carry out a, sacri you know, a, a, a sacrifice meant for the priest. When the priest came, King Uzziah, what have you done? Instead of him to humble himself, he started challenging the high priest. All of a sudden, he was clothed with leprosy. And they sent him out. He never go back to his palace. Look at four men. They said, if we sit here, we die. That if we go, so it is better for us to go than to stay here and die of hunger. Praise the Lord. And you know what happened? God honored their words. Praise the Lord. God, on that's why they are, you know, lepers. The Almighty God went ahead of them. I prophesy to you from tonight, the Almighty God will go ahead of you. He will go ahead of you. He will make the crooked place straight. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Almighty God went ahead of them and fought a battle. Even before they arrived there, God has sent their enemies on errand. I pray for you in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. From today, every strong man from your father's house, from your mother's house, sitting upon what belongs to you, may the fire of God consume them in Jesus' name. God never despises anyone. No matter your condition, no matter where you are coming from, no matter you know, the state of your mind or whatever, God is not a respecter of any man. When a man honors God by living a holy life, despite your condition, the almighty God will certainly respond to your problems. In the name of Jesus. It is only sin that separates us from God. Isaiah chapter 59, 1 and 2. The hand of God is not shut in to save, to deliver. But sin has separated us. The four lepers. I perceive they are living a holy life. And that was why the almighty God honored them. Praise the Lord. God honored them. God is going to honor you in the name of Jesus. God honored their faith in action. Praise the Lord. Can we see verse 4 of First, Second Samuel chapter 7? Let me show you. Sometimes we have faith, but that faith, we don't know how to put it into action. Bible says, and it came to pass that night that the word of the Lord came. No, 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 no. I say second kings, please. Second kings. If we say we will enter into the city, then the farmer is in the city and we shall die there. And if we say, and if we sit here, we die also. Now therefore, come, let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. Praise the Lord. Faith in action. 
If they save us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall but die. Praise the Lord. I pray for you, every power that has stagnated you at one point, stagnated your blessings at one point, be destroyed today in Jesus' name. God honors faith in action. They started to move forward. So, whenever you move forward, the Almighty God will move with you. Are you hearing me? They came to the Red Sea. They were stagnated. They were crying. In the book of Exodus, God asked Moses, what do you have in your hand? He said, I have the rod. He said, stretch forth the, hand, the rod. Tell my people that the Egyptian they saw yesterday, they see no more. He said, I will fight for you. Hold your peace. And what was the next action? Go forward. Tell somebody, go forward. So many people are not making breakthrough because they felt, well, I have failed. I had disappointment. And because of that, fear of you know, taking another step has crippled the purpose of God for their life, stagnated their vision. A righteous man may fall seven times and also rise again. Rejoice not, O my enemy. When I fall, I will rise up. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. Faith in action moves God. And I decree tonight, as you step out where you are now, the Almighty God will open impossible doors in your life. The mighty name of Jesus. Faith in action. Move forward. Don't be stagnated. No matter how many times you fail, praise the Lord. No matter how many times you have, men must have disappointed you, keep on moving. One of the secrets of Abraham was movement. And there is light in movement. When you continue moving, I tell you, a day shall come when all the powers that are standing against you, the Lord will put them, you put them behind in the name of Jesus. And you are going to hear good tidings. I say you will hear good tidings. Tell your neighbor, move forward. Don't be stagnated in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be stagnated. Don't say I'm falling. Rise up. Dust your boots and keep on moving. Life is war from cradle to the grave. It's only a lazy man that falls and remains. Listen to me. Failure is inevitable. When you fall into the ditch and lift up your hand, you must see somebody that will raise you up. I think I'm speaking to mortal billionaires in the house. Go and read the story of Abraham Lincoln. How many times he fell? He didn't allow his failure to stagnate him. He kept on moving from 1860 to 1830. Somebody that fell in business, fell in politics, continued failing. The wife died, business crumbled. He kept on saying, I refuse to lose. Tell yourself, I refuse to lose. He kept on moving. 1860, the man they rejected in Congress, rejected House of Senate, rejected how many times he fell. 1860, he contested presidential election and won. I pray for you, you will never be a failure. 30 years, Abraham Lincoln was a failure. Praise the Lord. But before he died, his name was written in the Guinness Book of Record as a successful president. I pray for you. Your generation will remember you for good. You will not die where you are today. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, let's go. Let us go. Let us go. God hates stagnation. The last word that came from the mouth of Jesus Christ said, go into the world. Praise the Lord. Go into the world. And all those that have obeyed that great commission, look at them today. Look at Papa Deboya. Look at Oyedek, look at Kumuyi, look at Olukoya. Go. Tell your neighbor, go. 
and the Almighty God will go ahead of you. Number five, until you make a move, your breakthrough will not locate you. Until you make a move, your breakthrough will not locate you. Look at them, they would have died. But God saw their faith. And God caused a great noise in the camp of the enemies. I pray for you before the end of this year, your enemies will hear a noise that will frighten them. A noise that will send them into the bush. In the name of Jesus. Something happened some time ago. I think last year. One of my friends, Pastor Pius, you know, he was a sonar pastor then. I visited his church in you know, Port Harcourt. And where they kept me, one of the hotels, he visited me by five on Saturday evening. And then he was driving home. As he was getting close to his house, kidnappers attacked him. They carried him, took all their phones, took the wife's phone, and they carried him inside the bush in the midnight. He said he didn't know where they were going. So it was my number he was able to remember. So he gave them my number. They dialed the number. And when they called me, they said, we have carried your friend. I say, who? I say, who, who, who are you asking us who? He said, you don't know us. My friend, my friend told me that they are kidnappers, that they have kidnapped him. I said, give them food. He gave them, I said, do you know whom you have carried? I said, that man you are carrying is a servant of God. The fire of the Holy Ghost will visit you people. <laughs> they say, what are you saying? I say, hey. he said, I should go and bring 15 million. You go and bring 15 million. I didn't have up to 50,000. <laughs> I should go and bring 15 million. You know what happened? My friend said I should leave them. They, were, they took him. He'll be coming to our program this week by the grace of God. They took him. So we start, I started praying. I called one of my few friends. We started praying. My brothers, I ran, according to Pastor Pius, in the midnight. Around 11, they were taking him to a known bush. All of a sudden, they said, one of them said, Run, oh, they don't come, oh, run, oh, they don't come, oh, all of them. <laughs> when Pastor Bayo saw that every one of them there deserted him, he looked right, looked left, and he saw them running. Who, who, who was pursuing them? He couldn't see. What happened? He turned. Because <laughs> I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Angel of the Lord will go around with you. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Every bad news waiting for you, I turn it to good news. They say, ah, they don't come up. They left him. And he ran. To God be the glory. As soon as he came out, he saw. Uh, this says he or what? He entered and he told them they carried him. As soon as he got to his house, he called me around 1 a.m. He said, God had delivered Peter from prison. Had delivered me. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. I said, make what I can't eat 15 million. <laughs> I pray for you. Every diary where they have garbage your name for evil. May the fire of God destroy that diary. Every computer, where they garbage your name for that, may the fire of God destroy that computer. Shout fire! Amen. Who told you that God is not alive? <laughs> praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Number six. There's no insignificant person in the sight of God. That's why never, never look down on anybody. Praise the Lord. 
How come four lepers? Four lepers. God saw their faith. God went ahead of them. God sent their enemies on errand. They invaded the city. Took all they want to take. Praise the Lord. Sama, no matter what is happening in this country, you will never beg. You will never pour. In the name of Jesus. Let them devalue Nigeria. Let them devalue Naira a hundred times. Listen to me. You will never beg. You will never borrow. That's why I'm encouraging you to put your faith in the Lord. Listen to me. We are not going to have a better Nigeria. Whoever that is telling you that things will be normalized, that person is deceiving you because the prophecy about the end time, we have entered it. So don't just come and sit down and say, ah, any, any man that is telling you deceiving you it is only those that put their faith in God they are the people that will see the breakthrough that God has prepared for them because power is changing hands to the people of the world it will be a bad news but the people of God there will be good news because power has changed hands in the name of Jesus Listen, no matter what you are doing, you will soon become a billionaire very soon. You are not saying amen the way I want it. God will so much enrich us because the gospel of the end time, it takes a lot of money to preach. Remember that the devil prophesied that a time is coming when we are going to pack our own private jet. Tell your neighbor, it is now. So don't glue, don't allow the thing that is happening to the people of the world. If you want to tune you know, your radio off, go and pack it. You want to stop watching television because what you hear can either make you or mar you. Some of us, we garbage bad news. News of uh, well, how many people that died in uh, this, how many people that died in this. Before you know it, fear will come. You will not die. They that put trust upon the Lord. They are like Mount Zion. They cannot be removed, but abide there forever. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. He shall eat the fruit of his labor. I pray for you in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Every power sitting upon what belongs to you, destroy! The word of God cannot fail. In the name of Jesus. Hebrew chapter 6, 18, by two immutable things in which God can, by which God cannot lie. God can never lie. Number chapter 23, verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, will you not do it? Has he spoken, will you not make it good? A backsliding prophet called Balaam say, I have received a commandment to bless, and I have blessed. He cannot reverse it. Why? He had never seen iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. He said, God had brought them out of Israel. God had brought them out of Egypt. Brought them out with the strength of the unicorn. Say, there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Listen to me. If they call your name in witchcraft, COVID, Holy Ghost fire will destroy them. If they call your name in Marie Coven, Holy Ghost fire will destroy them. Rise up and say, Father, arise. Every closed door in my life, open tonight. I have prayed that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be afraid. Your tomorrow is great. When men are saying they are casting down, God is saying they are lifting. Sister, they are lifting. You will not die the same way you came. God will do something that will surprise you in these three days. You will hear good tidings. You will hear good news. Pray. Pray. Talk to God. Pray. Pray.
pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Before we round off, can we see Isaiah chapter 45? The gates of December has opened for you. You will possess the gate of December. Today, being first, I prophesy to you, every gate, every gate has opened for you. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 1. Thus said the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand have I holding to subdue nations before him. I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gate shall not be shut. The gate of prosperity will never be closed in your life. The gates of favor will never be closed in your life. The gates of longevity will never be closed in your life. The gate of fruitfulness will never be closed in your life. Can we see verse 2, please? I will go before thee. Almighty God will go before us. From now to 31st of December, God will go ahead of us. In the name of Jesus. Every crooked way, you will make it straight. Now, look at what he said. He said, I will go before. He will make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in as under the bars of iron. I will give thee the treasure of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places, that they may yet know that I, the Lord, which call thee by name, I am. Lift up your hands and say, Father, every power of darkness. Say to stagnate my breakthrough. Catch fire. Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Every power of darkness. Say to stagnate my breakthrough. Catch fire. You will hear good news. Every power of darkness. Say to stagnate my breakthrough. Catch fire. Please pray. Please pray. Talk to God. Good news. Good tidings. Pray. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout Holy Ghost for your servant and want to go? To Terra for Five, six, and seven. Say, my father, these three days, open the treasure box of my life. Open the treasure box of my life. I have prayed that prayer. Let the fire of God open the treasure box of prosperity. Open the treasure box of marital breakthrough. God is a rewarder. Let the treasure box open. Let the treasure box open. In the place of work, in your business, in your marriage, in your academies, let the treasure box open. Treasure box. Treasure box of my life open. 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 Please pray. So I pray, my pray. Please pray. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. Let the Lord open the treasure box. Let King of Glory open the treasure box. This year will not end without a miracle. Tell him, Lord, open my treasure box. He will make the crooked place straight. Talk to him. Talk to him. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, the power of Lift up your hand and close your eyes. Let the Let the Let the 
Breathe forth. Taught your children. I terminate every disease. I terminate sugar diabetes. I terminate cancer. I terminate fibroid. Every sickness that followed you to December, I command that sickness be destroyed. Be destroyed. This hand that I've lifted up, I decree in the name of Jesus. Money will meet money in your hands. I decree in the name of Jesus. You will not be frustrated this month. I decree in the name of Jesus. You will never beg, you will never borrow. Nothing dies in your hands. From today, I command all the married sisters in this place, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I command the bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, to locate you. In 21 days from today, Wherever he is, he will locate you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. 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 December will not see your end. As many that want to travel this month, 
You will travel, you will come back. You will not enter the plane that will crash. You will not enter the vehicle that will have an accident. You will not enter the ship that will shipwreck. I will see you in January. You will see me in January. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together. Amen. Before I round up, if you know you are not in right relationship with the Holy Spirit, probably have grieved him through anger, through fornication, through lies, and you want to rededicate your life, lift up your hands, whatever you are, or you know you are not born again, please lift up your hands, stand up wherever you are. I want to rededicate my life. I want a good tidings. Please lift up your hands. All of you that lifted up your hands, please come to this altar. I'm going to pray for you. The Almighty God will start a new work in your life. Please come. Put your hands together while they are coming. You are not in the right relationship with God. Come. 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 Please come. Come. Close your eyes. Talk to him. Tell him, Lord, please forgive me. There is no good news for a sinner. Bible says prayer of a sinner is an abomination. There is, a, there is somebody here in our meeting, here now. Few days from today, somebody that is related to you will be kidnapped. But those that kidnap him, they will not prosper. The kidnap will not prosper. That day, as they kidnap him, that day God will release him. Because you are here tonight, you are prayed. All your relations, they are saved. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, from today, come into my life. Forgive my sins. Write my name in the book of life. From today, whatever sin I've committed, forgive me in Jesus' name. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Let the peace of God reign in your heart. You will not go to hell. The day the trumpet will sign, you will make heaven. In Jesus' name. Please turn to, your, to my right. You will see my brother, Hudi, Counselor, Carl. Meet him. Give him your name. Shall we rise up? Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Stretch forth your hands to the altar. Say, Father. From today. Release good news to me. Pray that prayer. 